Hey folks, it's Rob from Rob's Movie Collection, and yes, it is the Black Friday haul. Black Friday! Yeah, that's right. Um, so, I uh, got a lot of good stuff, only got 15 minutes. Uh, first place I went to was Best Buy, which was awesome, but uh, before I show you that, I'm going to show you just a couple of things that I got at Big Lots. I actually got these on the weekend of Black Friday, and it were really on sale I don't know that they really had a Black Friday sale, but they did get some new stuff in, so I figured I'd just show you a couple of those. I got Miracle on 34th Street, the uh, modern version. I recently got the classic version with Natalie Wood, so I thought I'd add this to the collection. Uh, I also got this one, Admission, with Tina Fey and Paul Rudd. I think I saw this one, and I don't know that I was that impressed, but I, I don't remember it that much, so I like both these actors, so I figured I'll give it another try, and if it's not good, I'll donate it. Then I picked this one up, Son of God. Uh, I'm not particularly religious, but uh, I watch these movies the same way I watch, you know, like a Harryhausen film with the monster and stuff. All of this could use a couple of Cyclopses, I have to admit. But uh, I, this is a digibook, you know, look at that. It's an actual digibook for three bucks. I thought, oh, that's, yeah, my body somehow did not let me pass that up, so I got it. Never seen it, but we'll see. Also picked up. Swordmaster. Uh, I've been seeing this movie over there for the longest time, and I always kind of, I've never seen it, so I just pass it up, but I figured I'm, ah, I'm finally going to get it. I'll just give it a shot, see what, what it's all about. So, okay, I'm going to leave Best Buy for the end, because that's actually, it was the first one I went to, but it was the best one. So I'm going to start off with Walmart. Uh, one for the money. Uh, I've seen parts of this on TV and it seemed okay. I like this actress. I like Katherine Heigl. Uh, this I just got from the regular bin. You know, the Walmart thing, I went to three Walmarts and two of them sucked. Uh, in the first one, they actually, I don't know if they, you guys experienced this, but they actually put all the movies in the greeting card section and then sealed it off and you have to get into a separate line to get in there. So it wasn't by the third one. And the second one I went to, I asked somebody where the movies was and he just kind of gave me a resounding, duh like most Walmart employees do. And it was the third one that had the most stuff in the frozen food section. Uh, but uh, and that had a lot of variety. But this one I just got from the, the, the bin. I just happened to be walking by the bin and I picked that up. Uh, so I got Santa Claus the Movie. This is the one with Dudley Moore. 25th anniversary. I didn't know that. But uh, this is the big Santa Claus movie made by the uh, producers of Superman the Movie. Which, of course, you all know is my favorite movie. Uh, Hacksaw Ridge. Uh, I've heard of this movie... Didn't, never saw it, but I started to watch clips of it on YouTube, and it kind of caught my interest, so I thought I'd grab it, and I just happened to see it there, so that was great. Passengers I saw last year, and uh, I liked it. It was good. I liked both these actors, so I figured I'd get it. San Andreas, never saw it, but I love Dwayne Johnson. He makes some silly movies sometimes, and I, I just enjoy him. I think he's a, he's a, a fun guy to watch. Creed. Uh, now with Creed 2 coming out, I never actually saw Creed. I've uh, been meaning to watch it for a while, and uh, this is my opportunity to watch it. Grab it there. Ash vs. the Evil Dead, the complete collection. I, I think that means it's the entire series. I hope it does. Uh, I love this guy. I love uh, uh, um, Bruce Campbell. Uh, I'm very fond of him as an actor and, and all the things he's done, uh, like Briscoe County Jr., I love that. I'm not a fan of gore. I know this is a gory show. I'm hoping that my love of Bruce Campbell will outweigh my dislike of gore. I've seen parts of this on YouTube, and it's pretty gory at times. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Sully. Uh, i also seen clips of this, and, uh, of course, I love Tom Hanks. He's my favorite actor. So I thought I'd pick that one up. The Conjuring 2. I got Conjuring 1 and still haven't watched it, but I've heard it's pretty good. Uh, I've been meaning to, to find this one cheap, and I did. Green means like $1.96, so that was pretty good. Tarzan. Um, I've also seen clips of, you know, YouTube, you see a lot of clips. And I thought for the price that it was, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> Excuse me. Resident Evil, the final chapter. I've been collecting these. I haven't even watched all of these movies. These, I think, can probably get a little, a little bit gory, too. But uh, I like her as an action star, so I figured I'd complete the collection there. The House, I like both these actors, Will Ferrell and Amy Poehler. Um, sometimes these comedies they make can get a little bit predictable and dumb, and I don't know. 
Uh, I don't always find them funny, and I never saw this one, but I figured I'd give it a shot for the uh, little price that it was at. Pete's Dragon, the original Pete's Dragon. I remember seeing this when I was a kid. Uh, this is the original Disney version, 35th anniversary, so I'll grab that. And then finally at Walmart, I came across Ice Age movie, the four movie uh, collection. Uh, I've been meaning to get Ice Age for a while, and uh, so I'm glad I came across this uh, collection of all four. That was that was easy. Just boom, just get them all at once. So uh, next up was Target, and Target sucked big time. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I went to three Targets. Ever since they remodeled and they diminished their movie section, they just they just don't seem to care anymore. Uh, the targets that I went to had like one or two displays out there that were hard to find. They had very little there. Most of their stuff was uh, in the regular movie section, which is already so small. And to be honest, the lowered prices were just about everything that you could find at Big Lo at um, Best Buy, and uh, just for a little more. So I got most of what I wanted at Best Buy. They didn't even have everything. They had uh, Avengers: Infinity War for twenty bucks. When I had just gotten it at Best Buy for six ninety nine, uh, last year I got Stranger Things season one there uh, for ten bucks. This year they had season two and they had it at twenty bucks. So Target, I think, is done. Okay, and now the big one, Best Buy. Best Buy is Black Friday. Black Friday. Yeah, that's not getting old, is it? Okay, so. Uh, let's start off with some animated movies. And not as many animated movies as I got last year, but I got some. Uh, picked up Early Man. Haven't seen it. I don't think it did too well in the theater. Uh, but I love Ardman Animation, the makers of Wallace and Gromit. So I thought they were great. So I give it a shot. Uh, Ferdinand. I know next to nothing about this. But again, it was cheap, so I figured I'd pick it up. Uh, Blue Sky usually does some good ones. They did Rio and Icy, so... Uh, picked up Hotel Transylvania 3. Just saw that recently in the theater and I uh, wanted to complete that collection. Uh, Coco, I heard it was good. It was a big hit, I think. But uh, I figured I'd try that out. Again, that was cheap. And uh, I got Teen Titans Go to the Movies. A lot of people don't like this show. Uh, you know, I, I was into comics and I love the Teen Titans in the 80s. Uh, I know this is a little bit farcical and kid-like, but I just like the humor. I think, you know, I like the previous show that was a little more... It's hard to say adult, because if you watch the, the original show, the Teen Titans, it was also kind of a little bit in this vein, but this really goes over the top. But I don't care. I like it. So, uh, got some TV series. DC Legends of Tomorrow, Season 3. Uh, I've only watched a little bit of Season 1, frankly. Every Black Friday I get one of these, so I figure... Uh, the Flash season four. Uh, I can I I like this show. Uh, I can still kind of watch it. It's getting a little bit, you know, politically agenda type thing. Um, there's some things I don't like about it, but uh, but I can still kind of watch it. And I missed most of this season anyway because I was working, so I figured I'd pick it up. And I got The Godfather on Blu-ray. I just got it on. DVD, but I picked it up used from the uh, workbook store, so I figured I'd grab that. Uh, let's go a little faster here. Logan Lucky. I've heard this is a really good film, so I uh, heard it's funny, so I picked that up. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Uh, these aren't very good movies, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, they're kind of, the first one was a ripoff of Jurassic Park. Uh, but I like Chris Pratt, and, uh, you know, I like the genre, and I like dinosaurs and special effects, so I figured for, for I would never pay a lot of money for it, and it, so that's why I got it, because it was cheap. I probably would have waited for it to come down anyway. Ready Player One, uh, Steven Spielberg. Never saw it, but Steven Spielberg, so I figured I'd grab it. Jumanji, I got the original Jumanji on Blu-ray. I just like that design. I already have it somewhere on DVD, but I think it's a basic bare bones one. So, and then of course, uh, Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. A lot of these I, I held off on on purpose when they first came out. Cause I was hoping that, uh, we'd see them black Friday and sure enough, wasn't that great. And of course the big one, Avengers infinity war for six ninety nine. I couldn't believe when I read the coupon that that was going to be like that. And the first thing I looked for was this just to make sure. So that was great. 
happy I found that. And I picked up Black Panther because it was also six ninety nine. Kind of an overrated film, in my opinion. I don't think it was so good. All the praise it got, I think a lot of it had to do with a kind of an agenda type thing. Uh, certainly not a billion dollar movie, in my opinion. It was a good movie. Uh, I'm glad it was six ninety nine because I probably wouldn't have paid more for it. But I don't think it was any better than any of the other Marvel movies. Uh, I actually liked Ant Man and the Wasp more, and definitely Avengers more. But uh, but it had some good special effects, good action sequences, and so I picked it up. Uh, and of course, got Deadpool too. So, because you know it's Deadpool. Uh, Annihilation. I've heard this is pretty good. With the Blu-ray DVD combo. Tag I just watched recently and uh, I found it surprisingly good. Pretty funny. Super Troopers 2. <laughs> Never saw it. Uh, but uh, I saw the first one and I liked that one. So I figured, well, I'm just going to pick this one up. Yeah. Uh, Isle of Dogs. Wes Anderson. I like stop motion animation. Nobody does stop motion anymore. So I figured I'd pick it up. I haven't seen it. But a friend told me it was really good. Rampage, another one that I kind of waited on uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, hopefully it would come down. Yeah, I enjoyed this one. Again, Dwayne Johnson, love love the former rock here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, big special effect film. And then I uh, went back a day or two later, and I just I just picked this one up because I had some money left over. This one wasn't, wasn't like six ninety nine or anything, but... Uh, but still, it was, a little, it was a little cheaper than it usually is, so I figured I'd just pick it up, because this one I really, really enjoyed. Uh, that's pretty much it. Sorry if I rushed it a bit much. I'm trying to get in those 15 minutes here that my videos usually run. But yeah, that's that's it. I picked up a lot. I was very disappointed with the Target thing. Uh, let me know if you guys had any any luck at, tar at your Targets, but mine just have dried up. It's just uh, terrible over there. Uh, but Best Buy certainly made up for it. I had a lot of fun there, and... Uh, yeah, it was good. It was a good Black Friday. Okay, so uh, I hope to see your videos, and I will see you guys next time. Black Friday.